radical Islam. Now there are tons, tons of peaceful Muslims in this country and throughout the entire world at that. Infowars does not push Islamophobia, but what we do not like is the radicalization of Islam. People who have taken the word of the Quran, people who have taken that religion and completely blown it out of proportion to a radicalization to a point where they throw homosexuals off bridges, where they stone people to death for being raped, where they make women cover themselves and don't allow them to work or don't treat people equally. We don't want that to happen here in America. Now, I was just in Molenbeek, Belgium the other day, and that is an area that has been completely taken over by radical Islam. It's considered the jihadi capital of Europe. Now, on this trip, we're going to go to a few places that are like Molenbeek in Belgium that have large populations of Muslims from different parts of the country, from Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, all over the world. We don't have a problem with the ones who want to come over here, start families, get a job, and be peaceful. But what we want to expose is that double standard that's going on as well. We have companies, we have different businesses throughout America that have come out and said that they will not open their doors to Muslims. But then you have these places like in Molenbeek where we went to in Belgium where they don't allow myself to even walk around. I can't even go into a restaurant because of who I am, because I'm an American, because I'm white. That is what we have a problem with, is that right there. You can't defeat racism by having more racism. You can't ask for equality and ask for rights when you're denying other people those exact same things. It just doesn't work that way. So that's what we're here to do is expose that double standard. We're here to investigate the caliphate that is starting to unfold here in America because we have open borders, because we have a White House, a president who allows this to happen. Even though there's insiders in Washington who say that the attacks that happened in Paris were because of open borders. So it's not racist to go, hey, we should shut these borders down. We need to shut them down and then figure out a better way to vet the people because the FBI says they don't have the ability to vet all of these refugees. Like I said before, many that are coming through will be peaceful people. They will become Americans. They will get jobs. They will raise families and you'll never hear from them again. But then you're going to have a few bad apples that are slipped through. So that's what this whole trip's about is exposing that right here. So stay tuned for the next few days. We'll give you reports from different locations across the Northeast and our way back down towards Texas. So stay tuned for more reports. Go to InfoWars.com. I'm Joe Biggs. Shane Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well, and he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a, a workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to get my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all on InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which one I would have never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity. 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, and having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here lately, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes. And now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things. And if it has those kind of effects for me, I know that it will do great things for you. So just try Super Male Vitality. I promise you, you'll love it. And finally, let's look at Anthony Gucciardi, InfoWars.com reporter. He also works with Dr. Group and others helping develop the newest, most cutting edge, high quality supplements. Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena, and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle and Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll free 888 253 3139. Gerald Salente, so much to cover, but I don't think I've seen a time in the last 30 years this geopolitically dangerous, and it's so disgusting to see Russia, in my view, on the right moral side, as much as I don't want to see them bombing a country. They are bombing the people that are actually starting the war. Uh, disagree, agree, where do you see this going? What are the trends? Trendsresearch.com. Well, on Russia, they, they were invited into Syria by the sovereign government, like Assad or not. You know, they had an election, by the way, in June of 2014. And there were some 50 nations that oversaw the election and said it was a legitimate election and Assad won. So Russia was invited into a sovereign nation by the sovereign leader of that nation, where the United States, the Arabs who you were talking about, the, the beheaders in chief, the Saudis, where they had 50 people lined up for beheading this coming week. They've already done over 200. They've attacked and, and supported the so-called moderate rebels, the Islamist jihadists that are overthrowing the Assad government, as you pointed out, an Alawite government that made it possible for Christians and Sunnis and Shias to live together, like him or not, consider how brutal he is, whatever it may be, that's the fact. But all these other nations now, France in there, uh, the UK is voting to start bombs away the Germans are sending troops into Syria, one country after another, invading a sovereign nation against international law. And here in what used to be called the United States, where we've lost our rights, we, our commander in chief, decides we're going to bomb Syria, and Congress refuses to vote on it. And According to what used to be called the Constitution, the United States is not supposed to invade another country, attack another country, go to war with another country, unless Congress votes on it. And they won't even vote on the War Powers Act to give the commander the right to go in there. So in talking about all this, let's begin with, and as you pointed out, all this stuff about, you know, 
these diversion things, you know, about uh, gay rights, about whatever, whatever is something may be about, you know, not look what happened in Halloween, you know, wearing the proper Halloween costumes, all these diversionary tactics, as no one's talking about the mass murder committed by the mass murderers, which the United States is right up at the top over there because of, you know, the other con man, the George W. Bush and Colin Powell and Condoleezza Rice and Rumsfeld and Wolfowitz that sent us to war, Cheney. I forgot Cheney. And Colin Powell didn't get in any trouble for all the BS that came out of Colin Powell. It's just incredible to see them distract us with tr transgender bathrooms for five-year-olds and everyone complaining about how the gays don't have enough freedom all day while our governments engage in mass murder war crimes with Al-Qaeda blowing up every church they get their hands on and blocking major routes in the Mediterranean, acts of war against Russian ships. This is just over the top how dangerous it is. Yes, and again, uh, when, when we look at the facts and the numbers coming out, over a million people have been killed in Iraq and Afghanistan, Libya and Syria, thanks to the United States and its coalition of the killing. You know, Alex, I can't, I think they should put together maybe a, a commission to study how radicals come about after their entire nations are destroyed, the people they love are killed, they have no future in front of them. I wonder why they become radicalized. I can't figure it out. And none of this is being talked about when they talk about the refugee crisis. Yeah, what, did, what, what happened in Syria? Over four million families. And by the way, two of my friends that are doctors, Christians, that had to leave over two years ago, that are now up in Canada, that were living a wonderful life because Hitlery came out and said, Assad has to go. Oh, and Obama, Assad has to go. Kerry, Assad has to go. Who are these people? I'll tell you who they are. They're traitors to this country. Anybody that goes into a foreign nation unwelcomed by those people, and they are not a threat to the United States, is a traitor to everything this country's been founded upon. You're right, and now but it's so created funny. giant threats to this nation. And after they destabilize the Middle East in this 20-year program, they then radicalize and fund the most vicious jihadis, uh, quarterbacked by Saudi Arabia, then destabilize the whole world. Then they pose as saviors yet again. What is their end game? Yep. Sick people have no end game. Why can't anyone call a spade a spade? A megalomaniac, a megalomaniac, a Hitler, a Hitler, a Mussolini, a Mussolini, a, a Bush, Obama, a Cheney, psychopaths. Hillary Clinton, could you get a better psychopath than her? Look at that clip on CBS when she was asked. How did she feel when they found out Muammar Gaddafi was dead? And she goes on to that rant. We came, we saw. He died. He died. He, they should have came out with a straitjacket and took her away. Absolutely. Now, That's what mentally ill people do. I mean, I'll tell you, like commandos, military people that have to kill folks, if any of them acted like that after they killed people, they would be thrown out of their unit. That is seen as mentally ill sickness, and that's when you have to actually kill folks yourself. You don't like doing it. Here's Gaddafi, worked with the West for eight years, let us in, gave up his weapons, invested, met with Obama, believed he was their friend, had dinner with him and Sarkozy, and they literally set him up and kill him and put al-Qaeda in charge, and then took the weapons from Benghazi, killed uh, Ambassador Stevens to cover it up and ship the missiles into Syria, which they're now using to shoot down airliners and blow stuff up. It is incredible. I know. And you look at look at Libya. It was the richest country in Africa. The people had the best lives. You know, forget again. It's not my business how some other country runs their the other person runs their country. But as they're yelling about this, Samantha Powers, Susan Rice and Hillary Clinton and Obama that Gaddafi has to go. The meantime, 
They're slaughtering people over there in Yemen. We wrote about it in the Trends Journal. The day of